Super glad you asked. The drag and drop email templates are the most user-friendly type of templates to work with. Uh, so once you select create an email, you can select your email type. Um, and then for this purposes, I'm just going to use one of these um, pre-designed templates. So let's use this promotion template. Um, this is already a template designed in HubSpot and it is a easy drag and drop uh, template. The best thing about starting with something like this is you can always customize it to your liking. Um, so for example, this section is just a one um, section layout and it has um, a large image as you can see here. Um, so if I wanted to actually change it to something with three images, let's say, I could do that here. So you can see now this has three different sections versus that top section that before had just one. Um, and then this is a um, uh, image holder right here. So if I wanted to change that image out, I would hit replace. Um, I could also use these icons right here to drag and drop into what I want here. So that's an image holder there. And then I would want to do another image holder there. Um, and then let's say I want to select an image. I'm going to do the Lee Love logo here. Um, and then the Lee Love logo in red here, for example. And then you can customize um, the width and the height as well. So let's say I want this one to appear smaller. Um, I can edit this to, let's say, 80. And it would bring it down to size there. Um, another thing you can do, of course, is add text. So you can see there's already some text here, but let's say on this side, I wanted to remove that element. I could do so like that, um, or I could bring that element back here. This automatically has these kind of three layers of text. Um, but if you wanted to get rid of the header and subheader and use only the paragraph text, you were able to do that there and vice versa. If you want to only have the header here, you can do that there. Um, another fun thing with drag and drop is it allows you to easily add buttons. So then you can add a button like that and um, create your URL for that button as well as your text and change the button color to best match um, the purpose. Another thing with drag and drop you can do is add your social icons. So a lot of people do this at the bottom here. Um, you would then edit the links for your Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or you can add additional um, icons here. You can do YouTube, Google+, um, etc. In order to add uh, sections, you can do it in that layout section here. Um, let's say I want to add one more section here and I want it to be um, a two thirds to one third. I would do that here. If I wanted to completely remove this section and move it over to here, I could easily do that by just dragging and dropping. Um, let's put the text here and the header here and the button here. So once I have the layout exactly as I want it, um, and I want to remove this section, I would just highlight it here and hit the trash can button. Uh, that's basically how to do the drag and drop editor.